Hi, Chaz Karen here with Bosch. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install the basics for the 6100C electric whole house tankless water heater. We're gonna be covering how to mount the water heater to the wall, install the plumbing, fill the heater, wire the electrical connections, and operate the unit. Mounting the water heater to the wall, first and foremost, that wall has to be secure and solid. The unit itself must be mounted upright with a water inlet and outlet at the bottom. Please also check the manual to find out what wire size you need based on the kilowatts of your particular unit. To begin the installation, remove the two shipping screws on the back side of the unit. These can be discarded, we don't need them for installation. Then remove the two screws located at the bottom of the cover. These screws you do need to reinstall in order to use the unit. Next thing we're going to do is pull the bottom of the cover forward and swing it out, and then carefully disconnect the wiring harness to that display. You may now completely remove the cover. The next step is to position the unit on the mounting surface, make sure that the unit is vertical, then mount the unit to the wall with the four screws that are provided. Pull gently on the unit to make sure that it is properly secured to the wall. For plumbing, it is mandatory that the plumbing be done in accordance with all local, state, and federal codes. Failure to properly install the unit will void the warranty. It is also best practice to use pipe thread tape on all mechanical plumbing connections. First install unions or union type connections to the hot and cold water to allow for easy servicing or dismounting of the unit. Before connecting the pipes to the water heater, flush the lines to eliminate all residue and debris from the inlet water lines. Connect the water inlet line to the entry point of the water heater on the right side and connect the outlet line to the hot water on the left side. Remember to use a line that can withstand a minimum of 150 PSI. Any other type of line could potentially cause damage as the unit is rated to 150 PSI. Any water lines within three feet of the unit must be rated to a minimum of 185 degrees Fahrenheit. For protection against excessive pressure in this water heater, a pressure relief valve may also be installed. Refer to your local codes to determine if that relief valve is required. If you install that pressure relief valve, make sure to orient it so it discharges down and that that discharge is at least six inches above the structural floor. The relief valve cannot be in contact with any electrical parts and the discharge opening cannot be blocked or reduced in size under any circumstances. Before you fill the water heater, ensure that any drain valves in the system are completely closed. After you've confirmed that all drain valves are closed, open the shutoff on the cold water supply line. Next, open the hot water faucets to allow the air to vent from the water heater and the piping. Give the heater sufficient time to fill completely with water. Check for leaks and repair any that you find. Finally, we're gonna put power to this unit. Take each pair of wires and connect them to one breaker by referring to the wiring diagram in your manual. Make sure that each breaker is connected to one black and one red wire. Also confirm that the power on the unit is shut off by means of the dedicated circuit breakers in the electrical panel. Please use suitable wire gauge that meets all applicable electrical codes for the size of the breakers. The correct set of power cables should be run from the circuit breaker to the main electrical panel in the water heater. Then connect the power cable to the terminal block within the water heater. Each incoming circuit requires a separate ground connector. Double check the electrical connections to make sure they are correct. You should also confirm that the wire connections are tight and secure. Once you have completed these checks, reattach the front cover of the unit using the two screws. Finally, ensure that all the air has been purged from the water lines before turning the power on to the unit. You can restore power by the means of the dedicated circuit breakers in the main electrical panel. Now that we have water and power to the unit, we're ready to operate it. We're gonna operate it by pressing the power button. If you press the power button again, it turns the unit off. To increase or decrease the temperature, we're gonna use the arrows on the display, and the set point of that temperature can be anywhere from 86 to 125 degrees. A comfortable temperature for showering for most people is between 105 and 110 degrees, so we recommend that each set point is about 120 degrees, which will deliver hot water for all household needs with a maximum flow rate. A higher temperature setting than this is not recommended as it can cause serious scalding to children and to elderly. Higher temperatures also produce more scale buildup in the water heater. The installation of Utronic 6100C is now complete. To learn more, please visit BoschHeatingAndCooling.com. Remember, before everything, there's Bosch.